His name is Diamond, Neil Diamond. But no matter how you cut it, this guy's pipes are never rough. To take them there. Like the stunning gem that's his namesake, he's a multifaceted entertainer, and we are very fortunate to have the music man himself, Neil Diamond, as our guest today. Mr. Hi, Diamond, honey. thanks for being here. Certainly do appreciate oh, it. We've been looking forward to this all day long. Beautiful. Thank you so much for having me. You certainly have a lot going on. In fact, one of the most successful world tours ever. Just ended that, uh, 2001, 2002. Now you've got a release of not a small CD set. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a whole box set. Uh, the stage's box is uh, six discs, uh, five of which are music. Uh, one is a DVD of uh, backstage and highlights. Got the whole concert from uh, last tour. Uh, that's two discs. And then uh, two discs of uh, performances that I've done over the last 30 years that I haven't been able to get in uh, live uh, albums. Uh, a lot of outside songs. Uh, Bob Dylan, uh, Lay Lady Lay, uh, Elton John's Rocket Man, uh, uh, Beach Boys, uh, God Only Knows, and a Beatles medley. And, a lot of my songs that have not been released in albums and then a whole Christmas disc of uh, Christmas music that I've done over the years live and uh, the whole box set is live. What and, made uh, you want to release some of these songs that uh, haven't been available to the public before? Well I think that's the key they haven't been available before and uh, I wanted them out they're just uh, a lot of cuts that I've liked over the years and haven't been able to get released uh, for one reason or other and uh, it just seemed like a good idea to throw them all together and uh, pick out the best ones and uh, just let it rip. It was a two-year project and uh, you know I think a lot of people forget that uh, you didn't write songs and don't write songs just for yourself you have written many songs for other entertainers as well. Well uh, I haven't written them specifically for other people but it seems that uh, uh, other artists have picked up on the songs and done done it their own way and the given monkeys, it their right? own spin. Monkeys were the first. Yeah, they uh, they took a song that was going to be on my probably my first album. Uh, they liked it, and uh, Don Kirshner, who was uh, overseeing the Monkeys, then liked it, and uh, they recorded it. And I'm a believer, it became an enormous uh, worldwide hit. It certainly uh, did. And you know what? When we look at some of the video of the crowds at your concerts, when you're out there doing your thing, uh, I often wonder what it is that you're thinking about when you're out there seeing all those people who know every word to every song. Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking about, uh, you know, at this point in my career, I'm just enjoying the experience. I'm not doing too, too much thinking. Uh, I mean, I know the words at this point, and if I forget them, the audience takes over. <laughs> well, that's uh, pretty incredible. Not every entertainer can say that, that's for sure. Uh, I, I guess that's true. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I, I like the, an audience being part of the show, and, uh, uh, you know, it's they're there with me. It's not as though I'm up there alone. It's a kind of a, a, a participatory uh, experience, and uh, I like that a lot. But uh, I don't do a lot of thinking when I'm on stage. I just go out and enjoy myself and uh, hope that everybody else... Obviously, it comes very naturally to you, or you wouldn't have had the success that you've had all of these years. In this uh, six CD set, what's your most favorite part of it? it is fine, the sun well, you know... Uh, the first two discs are uh, a show we did in Las Vegas last year from the last tour. And uh, it was one of the most extensive tours that I've ever done. Uh, did about 120 shows and uh, uh, I've never done anything like it in my career. But it seemed like the times and the audiences wanted to get out of their homes, get away from the newscast. Excuse me, I don't, I don't like to say that when I'm talking to CNN. That's all right. We understand they, people need a break every now and then. They, they have to they have to take a break and uh, 
uh, they were happy to get out and uh, it was it was more than a show it was a, a mutual experience for them and for myself and my band as well um, so uh, it, it was an amazing experience for me uh, as I said never done anything quite that you know uh, extensive in a tour well it looks incredible and I'm holding it in my hand now Neil Diamond stages these are performances from 1970 to 2002 a six CD set, and it is uh, some good stuff, including a holiday disc. Neil Diamond, thanks so much for being with us today, oh, and I thanks. promise I won't uh, do any damage to your songs in the newsroom anymore. I'll, I'll just let That's you know. Right. Okay? That's all right. That's all right. Go for it. You can only improve on them. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. All right, Neil Diamond, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, We do wish you happy holidays coming up. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment right here on Live From 